Hi, everybody. It's Dee Slater with Create with Dee. Thank you so much for joining me live here tonight. I popped on just a few minutes early, so I hope that everyone's starting to get notifications and um, that, you know, you see um, that I am live here. Well, tonight I am excited to kind of share with you my passion about punches. I know that... Um, it seems like punches might be going a little bit out of vogue because, you know, we don't see as many of them introduced because, um, let's just face it, you have one image for, you know, about $15, $18 versus if you get dyes, you know, get a lot more images for it. But I just have had a love of punches from the get-go and I can't get enough of them. I just find them quick and easy. So I wanted to share with you how I incorporate punches um, into my gift giving, and especially quick, easy cello bag gift giving. So punches, cello bags, done. Um, these are, I'm going to show three different, um, I guess, little goodies that I found um, that you could use with cello bags. Um, and it's early enough in December that, you know, maybe you can find these out in the market yet and maybe think of a few people that you may want to give as well. All right, so let's get started. The first one that we're going to do is we're gonna feature um, the punch and the actually the bundle of Turtle Friends. These, this um, bundle and set is actually in the annual catalog. This, when this came up, it was like super popular and this turtle punch um, has been on and off of back order. It's um, currently back in stock and I just thought we'd have a little fun with it to um, use it for Christmas so that, you know, if it was on your wish list, but you weren't sure of the timing of it, maybe this will give you permission to go ahead and get it. So we're going to use the turtle and friends. Hi, Rita. Thanks for saying hi. Well, this time of the year, I'm always looking for, um, you know, I guess things to use for quick treats. And I love to grab chocolates. And I saw that these turtles um, were available in little minis. For Christmas. Normally you find them in the longer um, candy bar, I think, but here's little bite-sized ones. And I thought, why not make a little Christmas treat holder of turtles using the turtle punch? So let's just get started on putting this together real quick. So again, this is how my mind works. Hi, Marge! Um, is that I tend to look at candy and little gifts and then instantly think, think what do I have Stampin' Up wise that I could use to coordinate with it. So again, when I had seen the turtles, I thought of my turtle punch that I recently got in and I wanted to use it. All right, so I'm actually using, um, I believe this is a retired cello bag. Um, and I'm just, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. I know it's retired, but it's something that you can so switch out for if you wanna get cello bags. Um, um, Stampin' Up! has the printed gusseted cello bags and actually this one's kind of cool It's got just a little bit of a of a dot on it So you can really see what's behind it. So it actually might be a little better because you can see what's um, more presented in your gift Okay, so Well, we can step that later on. So these are just like I think like quick and down and dirty ones So I thought it would be fun to have a Christmas turtle and so I've got Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to take my um, my little turtle image. This is a, a photopolymer stamp set, and I'm going to use my basic our tuxedo black ink. <laughs> this little guy is so cute. I can't wait to use him in other ways too. So I'm just going to stamp him down here, and then I'm going to take. Um, Poppy Parade ink. I thought that this was the ink that most closely matched the, the packaging. Real red was just a little too bright on it, but I think you could get away with that if you wanted to on it. And I'm going to take his shell. Make sure I got nice, good contact. And stamp that down. So now I've got a little Christmas turtle action going on here. We're putting that red shell on him. And let's get our punch. And we'll just slide him in. He's just so cute. 
I don't know if there's anybody um, that you know that loves the turtles. Like I can think of like several people, like my dad, um, he always likes anything with the caramel and nuts on it. Um, I'm kind of going to show you um, on two of our projects here today, um, like a little tip that you can do to tie um, embellishments on, and I'm going to show you that here next. So when I do a little background, I'm using the layering circles. I want to keep him kind of low and kind of offset the circle here. So that's where I'm going to go with that. And let's get the poppy parade in. And I'm using um, Christmas Wishes from Banner Year. Yes, you've seen me use this so many times. Um, I just, you know, I gravitate toward it for some reason this year. I don't know, do you guys do that sometimes? Like you just find um, a, a stamp set that has sentiments in it and you just reach for it time and time again. I'm gonna stamp the Christmas Witch Wishes a little high on here. And we'll get that closed up. And we'll get the layering on. And I'm gonna use multi-purpose glue. You guys, it was like, it. all of a sudden, I was like, oh my goodness, I have not um, jumped on Facebook to talk with my stamping friends for a while. It was like Thanksgiving was here, and then um, we had some family things that came up, all good, but you know, some gatherings. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just out of sync. So um, thanks for um, tuning in here tonight with me on it as we put these together. Okay, I just have a regular standard office punch here. It's I think like a fourth of an inch circle punch. And I'm just eyeballing. And I'm gonna make two a little bit off center here, but I did that on my sample one too. Um, but I'm putting two holes there on the top. And let's see, we're gonna get our little Christmas turtle on here now, get some dimensionals, pop him up. So this would be, you know, I mean, I know that I, like the cost of the, the punches and the dies, but like once you have these things and then you go to make a, um, you know, a, a little thank you gift or something. It's like, it's just all about the candy or what you put in it at that point. Okay, there we go. He's just gonna kinda hang down here a little bit. All right, let's get the cello bags out. Again, what I'm using is retired and I snagged about four or five of these packages when they went on the clearance rack. Um, I think I had shared about on another post that like bags and boxes, embellishments, when they go on, you know, sale on the clearance rack, I'm always lined up for them because I think that's the best deal when you have those. Okay, I'm gonna put three of these little turtles in there. Um, in this bag, it said that there's, um, you know, six servings of two or 12. So I can make four of these with it. But if you guys haven't checked out the clearance rack, you guys need to, to see um, what's in there, as well as they um, um, Stampin' Up put on the last chance items from the 2000, or from the, I call it the holiday mini, but it's the, you know, the current mini catalog. Okay, so I got three of these in here and I am using ribbon from Let's see here, where did my ribbons go? Probably right in front of me. If you guys could see this crazy room of mine, everything is right where it's, you know, it's just everything's out. I've been creating but not putting things away. So it's kind of nuts. All right, let me, oh, there they are. All right, for, um, for these three treat holders that we're going to make tonight, I'm going to be using these three ribbons. This is a pack and it's, and it's from the, let's see here. It's flowers for every season. This is in the annual catalog too. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pretty white ribbon here. And what I'm going to do is just make sure I give myself plenty, plenty of ribbon up 
Cello bags are great. Do you guys use cello bags in gift giving? They're just like so quick and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, I'm gonna actually make a knot. And you can always zhuzh your bag later on. I just kind of get it closed and then you can kind of turn it back. We're gonna manhandle it just a little bit. All right, so we have this. Now this is where the two holes come in. We are going to feed the ribbon up through the holes. And now we have a cute little place here to tie a bow. You know, you can tie a bow, tie a knot, whatever you'd like to do, but by punching those two holes, um, you can easily attach it to it. And you might have to also, it'll make them work for it a little bit too, because they have to untie your ribbon in order to get to the bag. I can remember um, doing something like this one time and my nephews were little and you know, of course I'm thinking, oh, you know, you're gonna be gentle, you wanna, you know, enjoy it and everything and they just like ripped into it <laughs> totally and completely destroyed it. And so I was like, going, okay D, know your audience, right? Okay, um, I'm also gonna use the holiday um, holiday rhinestones to add some bling to our projects. So this is where if we want, we can add some more. I'm going to grab the green here. Maybe put a couple up here just to kind of catch the light. I've got one of the it's kind of a light blue, but I think it'll read green, or at least I was making it read green when it kind of blends in there. And I should have done this beforehand, but I'm gonna add a little wink of Stella. Make sure I don't have it too much. And we can even add a little glitz to the shell markings. Okay. Quick and easy, right? I mean, you could mass produce those in no time. Christmas wishes, and here's a little turtle, and someone's like, what in the world, Dee, why are you doing a turtle? And then they look at it, and here there's turtles in there. <laughs> okay, so that's our first punch, getting punchy with cello bags here with the, um, the Turtle Friends bundle. Okay, let me go ahead and move these off to the side, and I'll get ready for our next one here. I hope you guys are all doing good, everyone's staying healthy and everything. I know, you know, I know that we're all just kind of, you know, so worn out with all of this stuff that we've been going through. And sometimes it's hard, you know, hard, but I think, I know that our family, we're getting together a little more than, um, than ever. I shouldn't say a little more. We are getting together more than ever, but we are taking cautions. It's like, um, I had a little bit of a sinus infection and, you know, I still wore a mask around mom just to be sure, but I knew, it, but it was sinus. So I think as long as we, you know, just use some common sense, we'll be in good shape. All right. Oh my goodness. Here's the next one. Okay. So again, you're getting into my head here a little bit. Oh, I know, um, Doreen, I did pop on just about two minutes early, and so hopefully you can watch the replay. All right, so I'm a big um, Bath & Body fan. I love their hand soaps. I'm, like, obsessed with the foaming hand soaps. And I went online, and I had seen this most adorable little, um, it's for the, you know, the pack, I don't know what they call it, the little pocket pack on it. Look how cute he is. But as soon as I spied him, I instantly knew Penguin Punch, right? <laughs> I mean, look, it's like a perfect match. Again, like this is how my brain works. I'm like, I think stamping up evidently in my sleep sometimes. Um, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's going to be too cute to give this little guy as a gift. And since he's wintry, um, you know, I can give him any time during the season and they can enjoy him, you know, through January, maybe even February. So I'm going to put our little penguin in there. And now let's make a little um, penguin tag. Um, some of these punches are finally back in stock, you guys. And so um, 
I think it would be, it's just kind of, if you had them on your wish list but wasn't able to get them, now's the time. Um, okay, let's see here. Oh. All right, so for this tag, I'm using the Penguin Place bundle. So it's got, you know, the Penguin Punch, the Penguin Builder Punch, the stamp set, and then I'm also using the Essential um, Tag Punch here. Okay, let's get these filming. I've done a little bit of the punching ahead of time. I'll go ahead and just get some of these elements out. I will show you how it works though. But with um, basic black, I punched the body with basic white, um, you know, the, you know, his face features. And then let's go ahead and we'll punch a couple of little feet. I'm using pumpkin pie. I thought that one was the one that matched the color of his um, his feet on the on their little soap holder, hand soap holder. And, you know, I just kind of, and I did this with the other ones. I just did scraps, and I found a little piece of scraps that would work. I'll just kind of punch those out, but I'm going to need two feet. And we'll do that. All righty. And um, these have the ittiest, bittiest little stamps with it. So I definitely recommend like use it and then put it away because they can so um, go missing very easily if we don't do that. At least that would be me here. All right, so to make our little penguin, let me kind of show you where we're going here. He's just absolutely adorable. I was kind of bummed at stamping up um, you know, that this was a, going to retire after this catalog. Um, and so our little penguin guy here, we can do this. Okay, so um, I'm going to get a little silly here with you guys. But I'm going to go ahead and first put these right here on the top. And I kind of call them my naughty eyes because if you look at that, you may see certain things. <laughs> right off the bat that maybe you shouldn't see. Um, but it just cracks me up every time I do that. But I have to do the eyes first. And then I'm gonna take one of the little nose images here and I'm gonna stamp that one. It's kind of his beak and then he kind of has a little smile when he does that too. And that's with pumpkin pie. And then we'll take our liquid glue And we'll get this. And again, it's all about how the punches can, um, you know, once you have a punch and or a stamp set, um, you know, just kind of keep your eyes open for what's out there that might match it. That was really the big point of wanting to kind of just show, um, show you guys how I collect things when I see them and then have them ready for, you know, gift, give, gift giving when I'm ready for it. I'm using the little mini dimensionals. I absolutely enjoy having these little mini dimensionals. It's so nice not to have to trim everything down when you have these little pieces here. Okay, so there's our little penguin. That's how I put him together. He's so cute. I love him or her. And now we're going to get got some scrap real red and we'll make a tag real quick. Put that down or punch that out. And I wish I would have on this guy, you know, add a little snowflake element here. So I think I'm going to do that um, on here and I'm kind of going to position it. And again, I want to make sure that I'm dropping down enough to do this. Um, on this one here, I'm going to share with you how you can do this a different way with putting the tag. This one might be just a little too narrow to do two of them, but you so could, but we're going to do just one and we'll see how that goes here in just a bit. And I'm going to drop that snowflake down, I think to about there. I love these snowflakes. I don't know how, I think I've gone through about, this is my third pack of them. And there's 24 in a pack, I believe. I put them on every Christmas card that I made. I just love it. Put this down here. 
Yes, they are. The minis are great. All right, now before I put him on here, I also wanted to um, make a little um, green scarf, just like our little guy did here. And luckily, you know, we have this cute little scarf here, and we're just going to fussy cut it. So I'm going to take a piece of scrap whisper white and my garden green ink pad. And we'll go ahead and stamp that and cut it out. My ink pad, I noticed, um, needed re-inked. Kind of show this. See how you can start to see where you don't get a really um, connecting point on it? And um, at first, I'm like, oh, let me get my re-inker out. And then I'm like, no, it kind of gives the scarf a little bit of texture. So I purposely did not go and get it um, re-inked just yet. Now I will put it off to the side so that I remember to do that. And I'm just gonna fussy cut. I know we like to have dies and punches, but um, sometimes it's, oh, we can definitely fussy cut, especially this, this is nice and straight. You know, it's just a matter of turning the paper. And actually, sometimes I do that too. I just kinda cut it and then come back in and get the little triangle pieces out. So I just get close and I'm not gonna worry if it's not all even all the way around. You know, it's okay if that happens. All right, so there's that, cute. And again, we're gonna pop up his, her scarf here. I was thinking about maybe gifting this to my niece, but she lives out in California and I'm not sure how much snow she has. So <laughs> it would make her think of home, but I don't think that she really, you know, would have um, penguin weather there. Okay, so I'm ready for regular size dimensionals. Whoops. Get that on here. And go from there. This was, um, I had something um, that I needed to get done before I, I came on here tonight. And 8 o'clock Eastern time is, um, seems so late for me to be chatting with you guys. Oh, look how cute it is with the snowflake. So cute, cute. I love it. Um, this got a little, um, obviously I didn't let it dry enough, but this was a little one and a fourth square that I put on the back of this, and this is where you could put some to and from. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to um, put another layering piece, that's what you could put there. All right, so let's get out the second one of that ribbon pack of the three. And let's get this tied up. Now, let me think here on how this goes. Okay, on. All right, this is crazy. I just had it in my head of how I wanted to do it. Oh, okay, I got it. I was trying to show you a couple of different ways of tying this. I think this is what I want to do. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to give myself plenty of ribbon again. And I know this isn't officially garden green ribbon, but, you know, I looked in my ribbon stash and I really just didn't have any. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie just a slip knot on the front of it. And then this is where it's, you can have a slip knot on the front and then a tie on the back or a, you know, a knot or another bow. All right. And I probably will redo this. I might even put a little white tissue paper in there just to give it some stability. You could always do that if you wanted to. 
The cello bags are nice and slick. Sometimes I even put a rubber band around it before I put the, the ribbon just to kind of keep it in place. There we go. So this has this way. It almost has a little party in the front with the ribbon or with the tag. So it's cute that way. And when they turn it around, you've got a cute tag or a little bow on the back. And this is where if you wanted to, you could even put another little to from on it. But look at that cute little matchy matchy. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Now I wish I would have got a couple of those. I might need that. <laughs> Are you allowed to keep? <laughs> Are you allowed to keep your own gifts? Maybe this will be my own stocking stuffer. No, that's just being greedy. Oh my gosh, adorable. All right, so that's a little sneak peek behind my eyes too, or my brain too. Um, and also, um, I just kind of wanted to share with you, like see his little cute hat that kind of tips over. Um, I don't know how many years ago this was, but Stampin' Up! had this little Santa's hat punch and I um, punched it and I kind of trimmed it down just a little bit to make it fit. But this is why it's kind of fun to collect punches because then that one would even match that much more with it. So don't be afraid to go back and look through some of your retirement punches or retired punches too um, to help make your little treats holders. All right, so that's our package number two. All right. Um, and our second, of, we had, this is a three pack of ribbon and this is our second ribbon in that one. All right, the last one is, um, now this is kind of silly, um, but um, I have gotten, my mom and I have gotten into these, so, these cute little solar characters for all of the different seasons. I don't know if you guys um, like them too. They're just fun to have sit out and they make you happy. You know, they sit there and they do their little happy dance. And so, um, you know, I saw this guy and I'm like, oh my gosh, I know I have my snowman punch. And, um, you know, and we can make, we can so make a cute little snowman tag that can go along with it. All right, um, Marcy says, but it's only five o'clock here. <laughs> I know, it's like, it's so crazy to try to do this. I'm just gonna leave this little sticker on, but obviously, well, I guess I can try to take it off. Um, I think I got this one. It wasn't at, I don't know, if, I don't think it was the Dollar Tree because it has a dollar on it. It might've been Dollar General. And of course now I think Dollar Tree went up to a dollar 25, right? Um, on this one, what I wanted to do is kind of share with you um, like what to do if the cello bag that you have, that your goodies fit, but not, you know, you don't have the extra stuff to go. So he was just a little tall for my, my cello bag. So what to do in this case? Um, well, we're gonna make a little um, tag topper for the top of it. So what I want, what you can do is, um, if you can, staple through what you have, which I'm going to try to do. I'm going to tuck this back, and you could take an office stapler. Stampin' Up had um, these mini staples a couple of years ago. These staplers, and I just love that. I can get right in there, and so you know now I've got it. So it's you know clear up at the top. Next, what I did is I took a piece of designer series paper. This is from the, let's see, I think it's Heartfelt or Heartwarm Wishes or something like that. I'm sorry, I'll have it later on up there. And I kind of, I measured um, what it would be to cover, cover this little tag topper. Oops. And so this is what I have right here. And this is cut at three by four and a half, or four, and a fourth, and I just fold it in in half. Your cello bag dimensions may be different. It's just, you know, just kind of cut it down to whatever size that you need. And I'm going to bring it down so it actually covers that little um, packaging up there too. And I'm gonna come and I'm gonna staple again, kind of staple in the middle. All right, let's do some sentiment stamping here first. 
And what I have is I have a piece of Whisper White cut at one by three and a half. And I'm going to use um, Garden Green. No, Real Red. Where's my Real Red? Do I have it out? Oops, just a second, guys. Oh, there it is. Just out of reach. I was organized just right where it's supposed to be. Um, snowman season, I'm using the Merry Christmas. Because when you see this little guy dancing, you will be merry too. And we'll get Merry Christmas. I just love that font of that one. And I'm going to go ahead and then I've got it. Um, it's going to be matted on some garden green cardstock, and that's going to be cut at one and an eighth by three and five eighths. And again, that's just the size that matched, or I thought was, um, what do I want to say, like that it worked well for this. I'm going to go ahead and put this on with dimensionals because I have that, it's kind of 3D anyways. I'm going to go ahead and get five of them. Um, 3D, I mean, it's gonna, it's got some dimension there, and I don't want to just use liquid glue to put it down because um, it may kind of lay funky. And so with using dimensionals, it'll give me a little more, um, you know, staying power, I think. And I'm going to kind of put it a little bit. I'm going to offset it. I'm going to, meaning not center it. I'm going to put it so that the sentiment's off to the right side somewhat. And then ahead of time, I went ahead and I stamped the snowman image and punched that out. But let's go ahead and we are going to stamp the hat and get that colored. Let's see. All right, Mr. Hat, where did, oh, I put him on the back of the snowman, right where I went, <laughs> wouldn't leave him. Um, so there's the snowman, and there's our hat, and I'll go ahead and we'll get our hat, use our little scrap piece of Whisper White here. And when I punch, the hat's going to be over here, so I want to stamp it in this direction. So I'm going to kind of stamp it like this. And I'm going to use some blends, Stampin' Blends, to do some coloring on this. And let's get this put away here real quickly. All right, so I'm using um, Real Red, both the light and the dark. I've got the light pool party, and I have the light or the dark granny apple green are the colors that I'm using. And I'm going to use our little guy here for inspiration. And so the hat, I do want to make it red. And I'm going to, I always like to kind of start out using the lighter ones first. And just kind of see how that goes. I know I have the berries. Um, normally berries are red, but I just really want to um, kind of du duplicate what the hat looks like when all possible. I'm going to use that. And um, I'm going to come in and I'm going to leave the berries and the little um, string here or the, um, the band. I'm going to leave that white and I'm going to use some Winka Stella on it. All right, let me see. Need to get this cut down a little differently. Got to make it so that I can cut, come in all the way on the side with that. And we'll get our little hat punched out. That's what's fun with these builder um, punches. We do get a lot of these images. Whoops. There we go. And then you get a lot of extra little scraps on it sometime too. Now for our snowman, 
Um, I always like to give him some um, outline with some blue. And so um, we're just going to kind of It just kind of, you know, so he's not just all white, give him a little contrast. On that, um, I could get out my pumpkin pie and do his nose and everything if I wanted to as well. I think for right now, we'll just kind of keep him as that. But what a big difference, right? Starting from that, it just kind of, you know, it makes the white a little whiter. All right, so before I put the hat on, get the Wink Stella out again, and we'll just give our snowman some nice sparkle. The snow is really glistening on that. And then get a little Wink Stella on the berries and the band. And let's see here, I'm gonna get my mini dimensionals, I think. And I'll put it on the bottom of the hat. And we'll kind of, I guess we'll put him, I was gonna kind of put it off to the side, but I think I'll put it straight on. All right, we got that. And then get our regular dimensionals. And I'll probably just put it here and here for now because his top will probably stick up just a little bit. And what's nice about this, if um, now that I'm looking at it, I could always punch out another um, set of these and layer it on the back so that it would give it even more stability and you wouldn't see this from the backside. But just for the time here tonight, I'll go ahead and put him on. And he's gonna be over here. So now we have our little, um, you know, our little happy solar snowman, and we've got a little coordinating embellishment to go along with it. And then on the back here, you could do another layer like this, and again, do your to and from. So let's go ahead. I'll bring out the other two bags that we have here. Again, this is um, a little look into my crazy mind. I look for um, images that I know match my stamp sets or my punches and um, to have coordinating tags to go along with it. And these are just cute and expensive gifts, but the packaging just makes it so much cuter with the, you know, the coordinating images and some cello bags. Well, thanks you guys so much for watching me here tonight. Um, I've got um, things ready to go to add on to the top of this video to just share with you what I use tonight in case you're interested in um, looking into the products anymore. Well, you guys have a great rest of your Thursday night and weekend, and I'll get back on schedule next week. Take care, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.